Welcome to Liam's Toy Time. Today, we have a big stash of Monster Jam trucks. Let's get to it. So the first truck we have to review is the Purple Jurassic Attack. Look at this thing. He is so cool. Very neat colors. I don't think this one is real or was real. He should be. Look at that. Wait a minute. It was a ride truck in real life. Oh, really? Yep. Now, they've been making these, like, NASCAR and monster truck combo sets. Wow. Here's the El Toro Loco truck. It has a yellow chassis. Now, is that different from the others? Yes. Okay. And then it comes with a NASCAR. Which is really neat. Kind of looks like a Hot Wheels. It probably does work on Hot Wheels track. Next, we have Grave Digger. Is there anything uh, different? Not much difference between this and the 2020 Series 1 version. Okay. The only difference is that it has a gray underbelly. As well as some slightly different graphics. It's hard to tell. Yes, it is. And the big of it is the NASCAR. The NASCAR, which is Which kind of looks cool. like Kevin Harvick's car in real life. Let me show the detail of this cool Grave Digger car. And that is the only way to get these cars. Is with this. Is with the truck. Okay. We're about to unbox the Monster Mutt Dalmatian next. Awesome. So here's the box of Dalmatian. It's a little beat up. I, I got it from a Walmart that was remodeling. Okay, so, but the truck looks fine inside and also another NASCAR. And then on the back, it has uh, renders of the two as well as World Finals 20 in the background. Okay. So I have to take it out of the box. Oh, they have that NASCAR in there. Let's check out. Well, we can out. show off the truck first. Okay. Wow, and he looks a little more detailed. It's very similar to the final series of double packs in 2019's Dalmatian that came with Monster Mutt Husky, but it has a uh, gray underbelly, which they're starting to do instead of chrome now, uh, and a red roll cage. And here's the Monster Mutt Dalmatian NASCAR. Wow. I really love the Dalmatian car. It's just really cool looking. Is this like a Mutt Cuts car? <laughs> it could be. It's very cool. I'm curious if they're going to do like Rottweiler and the regular Mutt and Husky and Poodle. They should really keep doing these. They're neat. Yeah. So the next thing we have is a Dirty to Clean Northern Nightmare and Yeti. Okay, so this one is fairly old. Uh, we got it from Roses. Right, and this has been and out I know, for a while. Uh, the body on Yeti is altered. It's the exact same as the Fire and Ice version, but the Monster Jam Ice logo has been replaced with a regular logo. Okay, so are they still making these? Uh, they've been replaced with regular double packs. Okay. Here's Northern Nightmare. It has some damage on one side. We just noticed. So this one is imperfect, which is a little disappointing, and the Yeti is not. but let's see how they color change. I'm gonna dip into some cold water. And you see it adds mud. Okay, then he becomes a dirt uh, and that's why it's called dirty to clean. Okay. And then if you put it in warm water, which we don't have, uh, it goes back. Okay. Pretty cool. Now we're going to do Yeti. Uh it looks great with those white rims. And I noticed the tires are kind of a grayish instead of black. And we're gonna dip into the water. And see how he looks dirt. Oh my goodness. Uh, it looks like it's becoming Sasquatch. Yeah, he looks like he's been in the woods. Oh. Over the swamp. Yeah, pretty cool though. Look at that. These were a pretty cool gimmick. Well, I agree. Right now they've been replaced with the regular double packs and they were preceded by a reveal to steel. Next we have the Gravedigger and Higher Education double pack. The only difference on these is they have uh, white rims, but Higher Education has a couple extra details. 
And we're gonna check that so out. Here's the higher education. Wow. It has a yellow chow stand. It also has some details. There, uh, there's more black. It's more prominent. There's an emergency exit door. Oh, cool. Uh, it says District of Higher Education. Oh, I see that. And then the grill has a bar. And there's also a hatch up there. Okay, let's check out the bar. Okay. And we have the stop sign. That's not new. Nope. And of course, the white rims. Here's the grave digger. It's pretty much identical to this one. That's what I was just thinking. But it has a black underbelly and a white rim, just like its counterpart. Okay. So still a very cool looking grave digger. So the next thing we have, another double pack. We have Northern Nightmare and Grave Digger Green Ghost picked up from Walmart. And we love this green ghost. Yep, it is so one of my favorites. Cool. The other two I don't have from the series are the Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Mohawk Warrior, as well as Bulldozer and Racing Stripe. So here's the Northern Nightmare. Oh cool, he has a green yep, chassis. Yeah, so does Grave Digger. And I has the same chassis as Grave Digger. Okay, but it definitely and stands it does have out. The flotation tires. It really stands out on uh, Northern Nightmare. Uh, the only thing I think they should have changed is they should have made the body green. That would have been so cool. So I agree. it would have been like uh, the green ghosts versus the toxic leaves of Northern Nightmare. Next we have. Grave Digger. Green Ghost. Has the exact same stuff as Northern Nightmare has in terms of chassis. Right, it doesn't stand out. The green chassis doesn't stand out quite as much on Green Ghost, but that's because he has green. Yeah. Right? He's really they cool. They could have made it red. They could have. But it's The only great. other time they've used green uh, on a Green Ghost as a toy was in uh, Curse of the Gasoline Target 3 pack, which was Scooby-Doo themed. So now we're getting onto the singles packs and here we have Pirate's Curse, which has the gray chassis. Also to mention it's part of series three, which features Dragon, Green Rim Kraken, Grave Digger the Legend, Grave Digger as the chase piece, Octonator, Bad Company, Soldier Fortune Black Ops, and Son of a Digger Purple. Wow, I'm looking forward to finding this Bad Company. It's a first release, just like Rage, which is in Series 4. And before we get to the truck, it comes with a little accessory, a little barrel. Okay. Let me put that right here. And here is the Pirate's Curse. He has a silver looking chassis. I, I think cool. it's supposed to be inspired by the uh, CRC chassis version. And also, a little peek on the poster. It is Pirate's Curse on the poster. Oh, cool. But it's the CRD version. Oh, wow. He's neat. And I like his red rims. Looks very good. Here's the back of the poster. It is Pirate's Curse. Okay. And here's the front, which ha features Series 3. And there's where you can check it off as you get these and, guys. And uh, now uh, they're doing uh, barcodes on the back of the package, which will take you to a, the Monster Jam website, which has all Spin Master posters from 2018 to 2022. Oh, cool. So that's the one we're missing, Bad Company. And also we're missing Grave Digger the Legend, Kraken, and the Rare Grave Digger. Okay, which is a chase piece, it's right? It's a metal base. Okay, cool. And the next truck we have is Dragon, which features uh, yellow rims and a green chassis. And here is the ramp it comes with. Okay. There we go. 
so that you can hit with the truck. And here is the truck itself. It also has an orange underbelly. Okay, let's check that out. Here we go. Looks good with the green. There's another version of Dragon that has a bunch of orange. Uh, that comes with the Dueling Dragon playset, which we'll, we'll review in the future if I get it. And I like Dragon because he is just so detailed. Everything about him. He is just so cool and detailed. So the next one we're going to do is the Octonator, which is part of See-Through Crew. Oh. This dude looks very neat. So let's check him out. So here is the accessory it comes with. It comes with a blood red crush car. Cool, look at that. Okay, it matches him. And here is the truck. On the render, it was supposed to have white wheels, but they were changed to rather a navy blue or a purple. Okay. He almost looks like distressed a little bit. This is how it's always looked. Okay. He's very neat. I like the tires. Uh, this one is based off of the original render of the truck by Monster Jam and not the body model used in video games. So the next truck we have is Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Nice. This looks like a blackout almost, but it's not, right? That's how it's always been. Wow. And I do not have a regular version until now. And here's the accessory. It is a black crush car. Now this is neat. I don't think we've seen a car like this before. It's rather black or super dark gray. It's pretty black to me. And I'm here is Soldier sure. Fortune Black Ops itself. Very cool. It's a mix of matte black and some glossy. It is very cool looking. I agree. It's a neat truck. Uh, it had been released prior to this in 2019 and paired with the regular Soldier Fortune, but I never got that. And now? I do. So next we have a muddy, tired version of the Red Primer Gravedigger. Uh, and also, uh, before we get into it, special shout out to Grandma Carol for sending me this and a couple others. And it comes with another silver barrel. Okay. I thought they could have made it red or yellow. But the silver looks good, and we'll probably use this on a craft we're going to feature. Yep, and soon. that will be shown in the future. And here is the grave digger with the mud tires. That is the only difference. This is still a very, very cool truck. And if you haven't yet gotten one of these, I recommend you get one because... They probably made it like this knowing that this year is the 40th anniversary of Gravedigger. Right. That's also probably why they throw in a legend in the beginning of the year with Series 1. And it's just a very neat truck. So the next truck we have is Horsepower. Okay. Which is one of its first mainline releases. The only uh, difference it has is uh, yellow rims and uh, black underbelly as well as a brown chassis. So here is our accessory. It is another silver barrel. Okay, I have a feeling these are gonna be handy for our craft. Yep. Here you go. Let's and here's oh my gosh so here is horsepower and it's disappointing because there you go. he's he came straight out of the package broken and uh this could go in handy with the craft it could but it leaves our guy without back wheels so we'll probably pick up another one of these yeah unfortunately this came from Target and he is broken. He's broken and no one would have known it. Bummer. Next up, this is my very first mystery machine. I missed both 
re-releases of it. We had trouble even finding. Uh, we found one at World Finals, but it sold out when we came back. It did. It sold out really fast, so we were not even able to get it. And now, Hopefully this one isn't broken. Yes, let's hope this one is not broken. So here's the mystery machine. Look at the weight on it. And also, the package has a Scooby-Doo logo. Ooh. Dirt ramp. This is so nostalgic. Love Scooby-Doo. Nitro Neon series, which is making its first return since 2019. Wow, and I just love this truck. It's very cool. I love the colors, and I love the mystery machine and Scooby-Doo. So, up next, we have a purple son of a digger. This truck is so amazing. I can't wait to open it. So here is the accessory it comes with. It comes with a blue barrel. Very cool. Look at that. It's the first other colored barrel we have since gray. Okay. And here is Son of a Digger in oh purple. Oh my goodness. Check it out. It is like a very dark purple. And it has the purple rims. Okay. And then it has a blue underbelly, a black chassis, which you never see on this truck. This is the first colored son of a digger since Gears and Galaxies with the gears, as well as the Creatures version in blue. More colored son of a diggers, please. Here we go. We have the skeleton zombie. And zombies are so ugly, but I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, this one is one of the, the second to last Encore truck, besides the yellow zombie, which will come out in rather Series 5 or Series 6. Here is the item it comes with. It comes with a purple crush car. Neat. And here is the truck. Here we go. Look and this. this one has a fun fact. This is what they were going to use for Zombie Invasion. Mm. Uh, it was an altered body, but instead it ended up being a regular zombie body. So it's not quite the Encore one. It's more of a custom, but still, we'll take it. Absolutely. And up next, we have another double pack. We have the Chase Piece 2021 Showtime Trucks El Toro Loco as well as another son of a digger. So here is son of a digger. This is the second gray chassis we, one we got. It's slightly transparent too. It does, it looks cool. It has a purple underbelly and purple rims as well as some BKT printing. This is the second gray chassis son of a digger we had besides the 2019 version. And here's the Showtime Trucks El Toro Loco in a double pack. That's cool they did that. If you know, Showtime Trucks was the Chase Piece Trucks last year. And they decided to put it in a double pack. And here we have the Earth vs. Surf, Max D, Earth, and Zombie Surf. And here's the back of the package. It shows them as well as Horsepower Earth and Aqua Stallion, which is a brand new concept. Okay. Similar to Yeti or Wildfire. Right. He kind of reminds me of uh, Racing Stripes. That's what it kind of reminds me of, too. Okay. So here is the Earth Max D. Oh, wow. Look it at has that. Uh, lavaized versions of the Earth Elemental tires. Okay. From 2020. This is also the first time they're doing molded tires for Elemental Series. It reminds me a lot of the Yellow Max D. It does, but look at the top. It has the lava flowing. And also, I notice uh, the little things down here are lava. Wow. And also, it has, like, some uh, speckles on it. Yeah which could be like ash 
It's really neat. I love this. And this is here is the Surf Zombie. Okay. It reminds me a lot of the Fire Zombie. It also uses the water elemental tires. Looks neat. And the eyes have been, uh, are like a very light blue. And it doesn't look like my camera's picking it up, or maybe it's just a little bit that it has a little shimmer in it. There's like some seaweed on the truck. The logo is uh, blue. They're like the opposite of the fire zombie. It's really neat. I like these. Now on to the big event. The Shake and Quake Target 3 Pack. It has a big scale Earth Shaker, a El Toro Loco, as well as a Dirt Squad vehicle. So here is the Dirt Squad vehicle. Very cool. This guy reminds me so much of Dragonoid. I have to put that out there. Uh, it also has like a little first aid symbol. Oh. Of course, I did put the horsepower tire in, because why not? A chomp, chomp. These are good. These are good to have in a collection, I believe. But they are not scannable at the store. Oh wow! I did not know that, but now I do. Thank you, Liam. Here is the El Toro Loco. Has like a rocky color. Kind of reminds me of that one bulldozer Hot Wheels toy from 2006. Very neat. So this one has a matte finish. Really cool. Kind of a tan color. It's like supposed to be like a rocky color. Okay. You know, I do think they missed the opportunity to make the flames the color of the tires. Hmm. I don't know. The flames really pop on the color. It's a very neat truck. It, it's unique and it's cool. What do you think, Lee? I like it. And here is the 124 scale Earth Shaker. This is a big boy. Heavy, too. It has the rocky colored wheels as well as some rocky color headers. But it does have a regular body. He's quite heavy, so I'm just trying to spin him around to show detail. Very cool. So here is our haul of trucks. It's been a mega haul for sure. Wow. Really, really cool. Which is your favorite? Well, it's going to be hard to say, so I'm going to have to pick a few. Um, I'm really happy to see this son of a digger. Um, it's just cool to see a different color scheme on son of a digger. So I'm really loving that. Um, I've been waiting for a mystery machine. This is really neat. We missed out on all versions. We, yes. Yeah, so it feels so good to finally have one in our collection. So I'm going to go with these two as my favorite and i'm going to give an honorable mention to this guy i just love the red and chassis and forget the car right this is so that makes it doubly awesome right i agree so um those are my favorite how about you leon uh, my favorites have got to be the earth max d the skeleton zombie and the green ghost green ghost yeah good picks and also i gotta give an honorable mention to uh the surf zombie really neat i agree uh the the new series the new elemental yeah it's just really neat and it's creative so um yeah, we're, we're going to be checking out the others in the collection, right? Yep. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Catch you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.